juicy. Like it flood your mouth floods when you when you smell it. Oh, it smells so good. The tastiest. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are today in Newcastle. It is super gloomy, like so gloomy. I feel like it's gonna absolutely chuck it down. Like, you know when you can feel it, the tension in the air and it's just gonna go, it feels like that. But happy Easter. Easter has launched today. It's a, I, This video is coming a little bit later because I didn't get a chance to get in there um, and then get it in before I started work and things like that. So I have smelled it in a real time. And I tell you right now, this Easter collection is bomb. Like it is so good, like so good. And I am obsessed with like one thing in particular and a couple other bits. But yes, I can't wait to take you through everything. I'm gonna take you through all the things I bought and all, all the things that I haven't bought so that you can see the full Easter range. So if you like the sound of that, <laughs> then we're gonna jump straight into it right now. So let's do bath bombs. We always go into the bath bombs and, and kind of the, the bubble bars and things like that uh, as the first thing. So this is the Easter Bunny bubble bar it is so sweet. I absolutely love the way this looks. It looks like Easter Bunny flying off to deliver some goodies to all the boys and girls out there in the world. And I kind of, oh, it smells so lovely. It's super sparkly. It kind of looks like sunny side in that, in that kind of chunky glitter. And um, the old school uh, golden egg, which I'm going to show you the new one in a second. But it's really glittery. It's really floral. I feel like there's a rose in there or something. I'm going to look at the ingredients. In fact, I'll tell you what. It's like, do, oh! Is it Prince Charming scented? I think it's Prince Charming scented. Right. So we've got in here sodium bicarb, cream of tartar. You've got cornstarch. Um, you've got the synthetic flora floral chloride. And that is um, your sparkles. You've got grapefruit oil, juniper berry oil, lime oil, gardenia extract. I feel like it's prince scented, but the juniper berry's thrown me now. It's something that Lush have done before and I just cannot for the life of me think what it is. So please, 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 if you know what this is, please tell me, because it's like literally dancing on the back of my tongue. I will get two baths out of this and I imagine it's gonna be as sparkly as Sunside. Super, super sparkly. I'm gonna, oh my God, I've just wiped this on my, on my pajamas and I'm so sparkly. Ah. What have I done? Yeah, I've literally come straight home from work and gone straight into my pajamas. I am so tired. Next, we've got a new bath bomb. That is, oh, that one is six pounds. Next up, we have Disco Duck. This one is really cool. And this one, I love the design of it. It's It, it literally looks like a disco ball. You've got like the kind of the cut out grooves. And it is super menthol. This smells, I think this smells like Demon in the Dark shower gel. Does any, like, I want people to go out there and smell it, which, it kind of smells really menthol-y, a bit like a Jerkman's uh, Sucky Sweet. Really, really like menthol and uh, herbal. Um, like if you have a stuffed nose, which I do right now, this is gonna be really good for clearing your stuffed beak, which I think is quite cute. So this has loads of, again, juniper berry oil. You obviously got your sodium bicarb and things like that. You've got Persian lime oil, rosemary oil, menthol crystals, guarana seed powder. Ooh, popping candy. I've never heard of Gorana seed powder, but that is, it is so menthol. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. It, it almost smells a little bit like when you go to the dentist and, and have that really like fresh minty smell, but it definitely smells medicinal and herbal. Um, so if you do like like um, the, men, like the, the minty kind of smells, like um, your intergalactic, your outback make, I think you're gonna really like the Disco Duck because it's really fresh. And of course, it's really cute um, for in the bath as well. And that one's four pounds. Whoa, what is next? We've got, well, it wouldn't be Easter without the golden egg. The golden egg over the years has been so sparkly. Then I think last year they slightly changed. And this year it's changed again. So it's completely smooth with a shimmer luster sprayed on it over the, uh, that chunky glitter, like what the Easter bunny has. 
It smells just like Honey I Wash the Kids. In fact, I always think that this smells like the best version of Honey I Wash the Kids. Even, and I love Shoot for the Stars, but there's something about this where it's even more Honey I Wash the Kids. More Honey I Wash the Kids than the soap. But yeah, it's like a really decadent caramel smell for those who've not smelt uh, Honey I Wash the Kids caramel with maybe a little bit of orange in there. It's really foody and yummy. And this, this one last year was pink inside. And I don't know what colour it is inside this year. So this is going to be quite a surprise for me. But you have your cornstarch, bergamot oil, Brazilian orange oil, titanium dioxide. You've got corn protein. Cool. Um, this just smells so good. So I'm really excited to see what this is because in previous years, the golden egg was a bath bomb melt. So it had a big thick layer of cocoa butter on. And I think a lot of times people just call it like, the golden potato because it took so long to like fizz away and melt away. So I'm very excited to see what this one's like in the bath. So it's gonna be a bit of a surprise for me and maybe you guys, unless you've already seen some spoilers and some bath art with people who've already got their orders through today. Cause I've seen some amazing pictures so far of people's um, hauls that they've got from online. We've got Follow the White Rabbit. This is uh, back from previous Easter's and this smells like carrots. So the carrots bubble bar, the snowman shower jelly and it is a rainbow bath bomb, similar sort of theme to snowman dreaming, Toby's magic cow. Really cute. I think this one looks a little bit more pastel because you've got like a lighter blue than Toby and you've got more of an orange instead of like a red. I really like if they got like the kind of they're making the color slightly different when you put them in. But this one has got in it lots of popping candy by the looks of it. Bergamot oil, butchu oil, Sicilian lemon oil and you've got like your water and things like that. The butchu oil definitely adds like a fruitiness to it. It's a really Moorish smell. If you like citrus smells, it's kind of like a, a fruity citrus smell. It, it, and it, especially if you like, it's not the same as avocado co-wash, but if you like that sherbet-y smell, yeah, I think you're gonna really like the the Follow the White Rabbit. And it's really cute. It, if anybody remembers Bouncy Bunny Shower Jelly, which I really liked, it's the same, I think it's the same mold um, for, the, for the bath bomb. Bouncy Bunny was so cute. I love that. Was Bouncy Bunny carrot scented? I mean, this is coming from like 2015. I can't quite remember. And your For the White Rabbit is four pounds as well. So that's, these are nice size bath bombs for four pounds. We have got, is that all the bath bombs so far? There's only one bubble. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna call you out, Hannah. Um, the flamingo egg is next. I'm gonna put a picture here. I did put it to one side to, to buy and it's not been put in my bag. I'm not being charged for it. Good. Um, but flamingo egg, it's pink and blue. It's got big chunks of, um, I'm gonna just double check the ingredients. I think it's sugar, but it could also be salt. And this is a really lovely one. It's really foamy. Yeah, so it's not sugar, it's salt. So it's got these big chunks of like luster coated um, salt. So it kind of looks like a geode front. It's really, really pretty. Oh, I wish I could show you. I do have Easter video from last year. So if you want to look at that, I'll leave that at the end as well. But it smells to me a lot like um, foam bananas, like elf on elf, elfy stick, bubble bar from a few, uh, from Christmas 2020, or um, a little bit yellow submarine -y, like foam bananas kind of a scent and it's a real nice foamy fizz there in the basket blue and the pink makes a nice kind of lovely purple colored water that is five pounds for that bath bomb and it's a it's a nice size i mean again if you watch last year's video you'll see it kind of fitting into my hand blooming hell <laughs> um but yeah it's a really lovely bath bomb and then the last new bath bomb that we have because that Obviously, the thing that came out last year is this one, which is the flying carrot, and I think this is the sweetest thing ever. So you've got a little bunny flying in a carrot. Yum! So cute. It's very lemony smelling, almost a little bit like um, cheer up buttercup lemony, but it also kind of got like a sherbetty to it. Maybe it's a bit like dragon's egg. My nose is so bunged up at the moment, so I can't quite think off the top of my head, but it, 
it smells really fresh and obviously you can get two baths like that that is 650 for this one it's quite the bottom the carrot itself is quite big so if you do have two kids one slightly bigger than the other one then you can go for a bun like this bunny for the smaller child and then the carrot for the bigger one and in here you've got poppin candy sicily lemon oil rosewood oil lemon myrtle oil carrot powder that'll make it nice and orange cream of tartar water yeah so this is why i kind of think it's a little bit like cheer up buttercup because that lemon myrtle the lemon myrtle is very distinct it's a very, very, a kind of like, um, it's not like as tangy as bohemian, but it's it's different than just like a lemon oil. It's got something to it. And I, oh my God, I thought I was going to kill that bunny there. So I'm just going to pop him down over here. Meow. As you'll see, I've got loads of, br loads of brushes behind me to clean. But that is all of bath. Okay, so now we're going to go over to shower. So there's, there's a few things. We've got a shower gel. We've got the most cutest shower jelly. But I thought I would show you this really adorable body scrub. It's a shower scrub. It's a naked one. It's called Down the Rabbit Hole. There's lots of kind of like bunny, Alice in Wonderland kind of a theme which I quite like. This is so sweet. It's a little bunny's bum kind of pressed into the ground. Oh my God, that smells so good. Oh, that's like a different type of orange. That's very unusual. I like that. So this is, it's got fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter. You've got bergamot oil, butchu, oh, sorry. And organic leafy butter, bergamot oil, butchu, grapefruit oil, sweet wild orange oil. Oh, cold pressed raspberry seed oil. I'm loving all these different ingredients. And you, now you can now I can definitely see I can smell the raspberry. I wonder if the rasp the cold press raspberry seed oil maybe does something. It feels quite buttery. And what is the scrub? What is the scrub? I don't know what. Oh, ground rice is the scrub. Oh, lovely. That's really interesting. So that's quite good if you've got like a nut allergy or something. Um, much better than just having like ground almonds. I wonder if it's going to have like maybe the same texture as like don't look at me. Ground white rice. Oh, that's really cool. I like the idea. Oh my God, imagine if they made like a body scrub that had the same texture as don't look at me because that ground white rice is lovely and scrubby. I really, really like that. But that smells like really orangey and fresh. It's a, the, the, the grapefruit adds like a, a sharp bit, like, like, like not, not too sharp because it is still quite sweet. But if like on the second kind of top note sweet, base note like kind of got like a bitterness to it it's really nice it's very unusual i think that's a new smell that smells really good i don't know how well i've described that there what i would say is go in and, and go in and smell it my favorite thing hands down in this range is the what's up doc shower gel spoiler said it smelled a bit like razzle dazzle shower oil eh -eh. nope nope this is i mean i like razzle dazzle shower oil i mean um, bath oil um that, and I was kind of like, ooh, not seen Razzle Dazzle in, in any form before, but I don't think this smells like Razzle Dazzle at all. It says, wake up and smell a carrot. Sweet and juicy and full of skin loving vitamin A. This is a this is the pick of the bunch. Oh my God, I got, I was almost gonna buy a large and I might end up buying a large if I get through some of my other shower gels because this is the best smelling shower gel of 2022 and 2021 combined. It is unreal. <laughs> it is 90s nostalgia. It is birthday parties with wibbly wobbly orange jelly. It's almost like strawberry heart in that kind of round trees jelly vibe. Whatever this is, they need to keep this all year round. This is for anybody who's got a sweet tooth and they're missing that sweet fix. You missed out on getting your, it's not, again, not like Snow Fairy, nothing like that at all, but you know, you've missed out on getting your Snow Fairy and you want something sweet, but like in a fruity sweet way, like what Comfort Hour might have, might have done. And you want it in a liquid form, so like raspberry milkshake in a shower jelly wouldn't do it for you. This is just the best smell ever. It is so juicy, like it flood, your mouth floods when you, when you smell it. It's just the best smell of, I'm gonna see if you can see the gel come up. So it's like, it's not super thick. I mean, it's, 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 it's the thick formula, but it's not like, say, as thick as, um, 
so I'm like I'm like mesmerized with the smell of this. It's not as thick as say like when you get like those those shower gels where it has like loads of butters in. It's just it's a nice rich consistency. This is unreal. And I honestly I'm trying to think of like they could literally just call this jelly babies or they could call it like refresher or I mean I know it's not the same smell as refresher but like it smells like jellies. I don't know, like I don't know what would you call this if you smelt this? But I really do wish that they would keep this all year round. It is the best smell like honestly in forever that they've brought out it is like so nostalgic this i can't put my finger on what this well like what memory this holds on to like when i smell it i do think of of birthday parties and lovely jellies and things like that when i smell it it's very lovely and it's it's, it's a definitely a spring smell so you've got glycerin fresh carrot infusion lactic acid uh, bergamot oil lime oil violet leaf absolute ooh, cold pressed carrot seed oil and carrot juice oh god it smells so good all that carrot stuff must be really yeah must be yeah it's full of vitamin a from all the, the carrots that uh, better better carotene which comes from fresh carrot juice promotes skin's elasticity helping to give you a healthy and vibrant glow with a sweet carroty and earthy aroma carrot seed oil is obtained by cold pressing did that even make sense that sense i just said there with a sweet carroty earthy aroma carrot seed oil is obtained by cold pressing can you imagine like like, like pressing like the oils out of a carrot um, I know I couldn't, but so if I get through, my promise to myself is, is that maybe if I get through maybe a couple of mediums and a couple of small shower gels, that I would maybe get a big one of these because it is really good, really, really good. There is a soap called Flower and Carrots, and it's like it looks like when you see it in the shop, it's like a ring of carrots, and then when you get up, when you get it cut, you get your own individual carrot. And it, it, it's so cute. It smells like, like carrots, like carrot soap. It smells so good, so fresh. It's like that carrot bubble bar, snowman shower jelly, full of the white rabbit bath bomb. It just smells so good. Do you know what I would like next year, or this year, should I say, at Christmas? They make snowman dreaming carrot scented. So then people can get their carrots fixed. Yeah, it's just the best. And the ingredients for this are not on here. So let's... Get it on my phone so then we can have a, a read. Oh, I forgot to say the prices for the shower gel. Seven pounds for a hundred grams, uh, 14 pounds, I think for a medium and then 23 pounds for a large. It's six pounds for this soap. It's quite a big bit and it, and it, look, and it looks like it would like, you know, if you want to use like, like it's in like a naked shower gel, like you can hold it. It's nice in that nice hand shape. Don't know why I'm doing this. That's weird. Uh, you've got fair trade organic extra virgin cocoa butter, extra virgin coconut oil, organic castor oil, um, fair trade olive oil, bergamot oil, butcher oil, Sicilian lemon oil, carrot powder. So there you go. The same, pretty much the same ingredients as what you would get in scent wise in your follow the white rabbits and carrots and things like that. But that is six pounds. Next, we've got the super cute gummy bear shower jelly. This is adorable. So it says, I've, I've just tried to say this and it went wrong. And so it says, I'm a yummy, chummy, funny, lucky gummy bear. I'm a jelly bear. I'm a moving, grooving, jamming, singing, bubbly bear. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like mangoes. It smells like, oh. It smells like jelly babies. And that's him there. He's so cute, this little wibbly wobbly jelly bear. Oh, he smells amazing and he's got a good wibble on him. Oh, any bubbles there coming out? Oh, he smells amazing. He smells really good and I'm doing a really, I would never make it as a hand model, that's for sure. Oh, there he is, he's sitting, sitting on my hands. There he is. Really cute, really dinky, great for kids. And I'm gonna go wash my hands because it's all over. One second. Okay, I'm back and I've just washed my hands had a lovely lather and even after I've washed my hands and dried my hands it smells amazing it smells so so good really lingering on the skin and as you'll know I've said this in other videos as well that sometimes I find shower gels to be hard to like linger on the skin and so I have to kind of like double cleanse everywhere to try and get that smell and it's for all brands of shower gels but this has stayed on my skin so I'm really excited to try this. We've got two lip products. We've got a returner 
from last Easter, which became a party exclusive for the um, for parties in the shop. This is one from last Easter. I'm not gonna buy a new one. I'm just gonna enjoy this one. We all know that I have a problem when it comes to lip scrubs, but this is um, a Funfetti lip scrub. It's six pounds 50, and it is the best lip scrub that Lush have ever brought out. It tastes like, a bit like birthday cake, and those bubble mint sweets that you used to get as a child. I'll put a picture here. It is like literally, I'm so sorry, I'm like smacking my lips and that is not attractive. The tastiest lip scrub ever. This is not how we use a lip scrub, by the way. You're just eating it. Uh, for those who don't know how to use lip scrub, you just scoop them out, you rub your lips. I can't do it because I've got lip lipstick on. And then you lick it off. But like most people, Luscious lip scrubs are so tasty, it's very hard not to want to just stick your finger in and eat them. I've got quite the collection behind me. This will go with that. And that is 650. That is literally the nicest lip scrub Lush have ever done. Now I'm really excited about this. This is carrot stick, and they've brought back the old style of tubes. So I'm wondering then, are they gonna bring out maybe some tinted lip balms? I don't know. It's nice to have it back. I'm just gonna take off the safety seal. So this is a lip oil, not a lip balm. So for those with really dry, cracked lips, this is gonna be the one for you. That vitamin A is really gonna nourish it. I'm just having a little smell here. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. I'm just rubbing it in here. It melts nicely, but not over the top. There isn't really a tint. So if you're kind of thinking, oh God, are my lips gonna be orange? No. And it has, ooh, that has got the, the nicest smell. It's a little bit rosy but a little bit fruity. Oh, oh, that is nice. The ingredients are organic castor oil, organic jojoba oil. You've got sunflower wax, candelilla wax, grapefruit oil, sandalwood oil, parsley seed oil, cold pressed carrot seed oil, and you've got gardenia, um, uh, stevia to make it sweet. You've got gardenia extract. Mm, I'm just, you know, it's vegan. So it is, I'm gonna lick it. It reminds me of, has anybody ever had perfume sweets? Like old school sweet shops in the UK sell them. I'll put a picture here. I think I've talked about these before in some of my videos. But perfume sweets are a very eclectic taste and it, it tastes a bit like that. It's like perfumey but foody. Oh, that's quite interesting. I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna put on this lip oil. I'm gonna see what it's like. Oh, that's nice. Do you know what I prefer? I prefer these tins because, especially when we're in a pandemic, it's much nicer to just take off the lid and swipe than to stick your finger inside the tin. Oh, oh, I like that. That is, I'm gonna just double check, the carrot stick oil is five pounds. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, my lips feel really nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is all of the physical things that I have in my hands. I know that I probably will be quite hyper now because I've eaten a lot of this. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move over to gifts. I've got some notes in front of me which have the contents and I also have my phone. So if I look down, that is why. Just got some notes here on, on this sheet of paper. So let's have a look. So we've got, um, you've got extra, <laughs> I said this, I can say it in my head. Extra, 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 no. I'm trying to say it. Extraordinary. Oh my God, why couldn't I say it? This is the Extraordinary gift set. <laughs> uh, this is 12 pounds. It's really cute. I'm trying to get the picture up on my phone so I can see this. It's a really cute gift set. It's a little yellow one. You've got loads of multicolored eggs on there with different designs, some with stripes, some with dots, things like that. And in there you've got the golden egg bath bomb and the flamingo egg bath bomb. So this is a quite a cute little um, kind of Easter top. You know, if you didn't want to buy someone a Easter egg, uh, so you wanted to get them 
a little, little Easter kind of related gift. It's cute without breaking the bank, and that's £12. So next up, you've got the Follow the White Rabbit gift set. This is also a nice little small, smaller one. And you've got the Follow the White Rabbit bath bomb, you've got the Gummy Bear Shower Jelly and the Fun Fetty Lip Scrub. So maybe for someone who likes a bath bomb but wants something to last a little bit longer, it's £20. And you've got this nice white background but with the little hairs running, or well, the white rabbit, should I say, running on his journey down to Wonderland. And you've got like the dashes of uh, of streaks of kind of movement in gold foil it's really really pretty they actually have a matching knot wrap which i'll put here as well along with the price because i can't remember off the top of my head or oh. oh there we go and it's six pounds for that so the only difference is that the knot wrap has got the blue background with the kind of different colored rabbits and then you've got the gift set which is the white background i really like this gift set it's really really pretty but my favorite gift set that they've brought out for easter is a very happy lush easter and i absolutely love the packaging on this this packaging is a bit of me it's, whilst i love luxury packaging i'm very much about cutesy packaging and this is all about it's got purple on there which is one of my favorite colors you've got little chicks and easter eggs and flowers all over there and you've got a nice thick pink ribbon so in here it's all bath items so think a little bit like your happy bath day or um, a very lush christmas very happy lush christmas so in here you've got your flamingo egg you've got your rainbow bubble bar, a disco duck, dragon's egg, you've got the Easter bunny uh, bubble bar and then you've actually got some Easter carrot bunting as well. This is £32, it's a nice big gift so if you are wanting to give like a nice kind of cutesy gift for some kids in your life or if you're 32 like me and you want to give it to someone else who would really appreciate that it's fab and I would a lot like like always this wrapping paper is definitely want to save to maybe line your drawers with or reuse it for something else if you open it carefully it's it's a nice one and I would get let's have a look seven baths out of this if I was going to half the bubble bars or five baths if I was gonna be greedy and just shove the whole thing in and last but not least you've got the golden egg gift set if you are wanting to gift luxury at easter this is your bougie one and it again reminds me of your willy wonka and the chocolate factory there's been different variations of this over the years sometimes you get gold um packaging sometimes you get i think there was like a like an orange or a or did i say gold when i meant purple so <laughs> there's, there's always a gold packaging because it's a golden egg but purple boxes with ribbons there's green i think this year or is it yellow like a like a lime chartreuse kind of greeny yellow color so there's, there's always like slightly different variations with it but i love it. it's a nice thick egg shell that, like out of cards that you can then obviously reuse and um, so of course you're going to get the golden egg bath bomb in there it would, would, wouldn't make sense if it wasn't there you get the dragon's egg bath bomb you get the um easter bunny uh, bubble bar again makes sense to have that in there you get a hundred gram bottle of what's up doc and you get a honey lip scrub as well so you've kind of got a top to toe pamper in there and you've got a mixture of smells you've got some fruity smells and then you've got some kind of more kind of sweety smells as well because it wouldn't be easter without some sort of like foody type of uh, treat do you remember chocolate lip scrub like that would have you know again that would have made sense if that was still around a little update on the old lip oil it's there but it's soaking in and my lips feel amazing um, that one is 40 pounds for that gift set and it's really really pretty it is a knockout stunning gift and if you aren't doing chocolate this year the gift sets are definitely where it's at so we've also got not wraps you've got the follow the right rabbit which i've mentioned before but you've got chirpy chirpy hop hop not wrap um which is a pink bunny on one side and a little yellow chick on the other side and this is five pounds it's organic cotton it's a nice big size you may have seen this as tote bags you may see it as face masks in the shops so it's been kind of reused in lots of different ways and you know if you're really talented maybe you can reuse it in different ways. make nice, nice scrunchies um but you can wrap a lot in there my favorite favorite one is the Easter basket knot wrap this is four pound this is a big knot wrap again organic cotton it's great it's so jazzy and colorful and again it has also been made into some fold away bags as well this both of these were gift sets in in previous years and then they're, they're just reusing the knot wrap so it's nice to have that alternative there and it's a proper psychedelic 
colours it's dead eye-catching really colourful so if you are wanting to make like a really fun statement gift set where you get to put your own things in the knot wraps are definitely definitely it and then the last one is you've got the easter egg hunt knot wrap so this is again organic cotton it's five pounds and i'm just looking at the design and this is really really jazzy and i remember this from oh my god it's so cute that's that's not how i imagined it oh my god it's so cute Oh, it's little bunnies with Easter eggs on. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. That is so, so cute. I don't know how well you can see that pattern there. I'm going to show you a picture anyway. Why am I doing that? Oh my God, I love it. And that is organic cotton as well. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, that's my favourite one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Maybe I would have got that. Oh, damn. So yes, that is everything. So whether you want to like gift pre-made ones or make your own up the knot i would say the knot wraps are definitely i say this every time the knot wraps are great for customization but don't forget if you've got knot wraps at home bring them in with you pick your stuff and obviously they can help you wrap them up at the tills so then you can reuse it but yes that is everything that is all of easter this has been one of my favorite favorite launches this year i'm so excited to try this in the shower because it smells so good oh my god oh god smells so good i should stop smelling that let me know what you think of everything down below what are you going to get are you going to treat yourself to anything nice top picks definitely what's up doc gummy bear shower jelly and uh, where are you where are you i would say like the flamingo egg the flamingo egg is great oh yeah that's why i can't find because i don't have it the flamingo egg and um yeah those are my top, top picks. I can't wait to try the down the rabbit hole scrub though. I'm looking at that right now. But yes, I'm going to go have a bath. And yes, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 2,500 subscribers. Hit the notification bell to be notified of my videos. I know sometimes I don't always pop up on people's screens. And sometimes it gets missed. So hit the notification bell and you'll get notified when I post videos. So there'll be a one tomorrow with the Lush Kitchen haul. So be sure to check that out. And we'll try and get that up for around um between six and seven six and eight o'clock so just keep it keep your eyes peeled keep your eyes peeled and uh yeah i'll see you next video thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>